Uh, hi, everybody. I realize I haven't made a video in a long time, but on, I was on Craigslist the other day. I found this guy, Atticus Martin, who apparently is a restoration specialist. So I invited him to talk about some vinyl restoration. So I'm really excited to hear uh, what he's got to say. All right, before we actually get to the restoring and the cleaning of vinyl, we want to actually acquire some vinyl that's going to be worth our time to restore. All right, I like to come to Goodwill because you can find the best records. This ain't fucking Goodwill. Now, I'm looking at these in the dollar bin and, you know, they're pretty good condition. And I'm not sure that this is exactly what we're looking for. Because we want to have something that we'll be able to make the right repairs to. So. All right, see, this is great. A lot of times I'll label these water damage, 25 cent bin. We'll probably find some good ones. We'll be able to do some work on. Oh, these are great. Good. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll take all of these. All right, so let's take these back to the lab and see what we can do with them. Um, I get incredibly excited um, about vinyl restoration, uh, cleaning, and r really taking um, what is almost unsalvageable and turning it into something spectacular. When you get albums and they're in horrible condition, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that they're clean. Um, I've been working on this one for a while, uh, this particular one, and uh, I think we're making some good headway with it. Um, and you know, you can hear it, but I mean, you just know. That's good. That's a, that's a good record. You can tell um, that this, this record's a mess. Um, and you know, we all have the old school things that uh, we tend to use, and this is, this is doing nothing. Um, you can even use um, a lint roller, and um, you know what? My brother laughs at me. This is a good thing. See that? That is amazing. Uh, anyway. All right, but I use uh, a number of different things uh, in different combinations. Um, denatured alcohol, paint thinner, or lacquer thinner. It is, it's good. Uh, it, does, it does what you want it to do. It gets the, the vinyl clean. Before we get into solution, I just want to try some other techniques to get some of the rough um, stuff out of here. And scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> Works every time. Watch this. They're working. Look at that. That is amazing. I found these pads um, the other day. They're super, super absorbent and they stick. They stick right on there. Yeah. And you can just hold them there or you can have something that you can sit on top of it. There. And, you know, it doesn't take very long at all. It really pulls up all of the residual moisture. Look at that. That is awesome. Amazing. So that's the area I cleaned. Didn't clean this area. Look at that. That's amazing. Uh, one that gets rarely used, but I swear by it, tin foil. And you have to use the shiny side. And you don't want it in a ball or anything like that. Just loose tin foil, fold it over once. Look at that. Oh my god. It looks fantastic. Look at that. Amazing. Well, let's take a look at one other technique. And I'm going to go to a, a rougher, dirtier spot here. Um, chewing gum. You chew that up. There, is that a rough chew? Look at that. It seems like it's stuck, but it'll. There it goes. Nice. Yeah, see? Look at all that. I got up there. It needs to chew up a little more. Okay. That's good. Okay. So you can see that really took uh, a bunch of stuff up. I, I hadn't cleaned that spot at all before taking it out of the sleeve. 
in comparison to where I had used the tin foil, I had used the scrubbing bubbles. Let's take a look at the solution option. Okay, so we're gonna just mix our own solution here and I'll, I'll kind of show you how this, this works. Uh, denatured alcohol, paint thinner. There you go, see how that splashed up? Gotta be careful. Make sure just a little touch. Let's see, we got that mixing. Mix it up in the bottle. See how it's getting all cloudy? That means that they're coming together just like they should. But you want to find the solution that works best for you. Uh, I've got my own sort of ratios, and again, I go a little heavier on the lacquer thinner. If you transfer it to just a, a regular spray bottle, um, that'll allow you to uh, apply it a lot easier. Um, so we can just spray it directly onto the album. See that? Right. Just let it sit. And you can kind of smell it. Well, you will smell that sort of plasticky burning smell. Okay. I think what we've learned here is that the lacquer thinner solution is too strong. We're going to do one more, which involves a combination of uh, spices. All right, so it's a simple mixture of uh, different spices. What do we got here? Chili powder, we've got some dill weed, uh, sage leaves are another one uh, that come in handy, and there's a uh, Paprika, this is smoked paprika, but it doesn't matter. It's it's essentially the same same thing um, and My brother and I use a uh, proprietary combination of spices uh, Which either may or may not be present on this table um, But this is what we use um, religiously All right, so we're gonna just mix these in here real quick Dillweed sage leaves, and we'll just do a little chili powder. And we'll just mix these up in here. Let's see how that's coming together. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. All right, so we can apply it directly to the vinyl. It's beautiful. That smells nice too. So here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that in there. If you want to make sure you get the spices right in the grooves. And in this case, so you can see the pattern that I made on the vinyl. This is directly related to the texture of the tin foil. So look at that. And don't be afraid to give it a little muscle. There we go. That's what we want. All right, now we can use our brush. Look at that. That is nice. Now, I don't know about you, but from where we started at the beginning of this, this uh, cleaning, um, this is like 100 times better uh, than where we were. That was fantastic. And more importantly, it's worth a lot more.